Hey everybody, this is Jake, and today we're going to show you how I made this clock out of a drag racing tire. So, I have this old drag racing tire from uh, NHRA races that went to a couple years ago, and I've always wanted to do something kind of cool with this and hang it on the wall or something like that, so decided I'm actually going to make a clock out of this. So I've got my tire. And then I've got a bunch of reclaimed wood from different projects, from pallets, from uh, crates. Um, this is old uh, fur that I've got that's going to look pretty cool. So I'm just going to match these up. Uh, I'm just going to joint these all on each edge. And then I might have to plane them down just a little bit just to get them somewhat close in thickness. But I don't need them real accurate because it's going to look kind of rustic. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I have all my pieces, they're all jointed and we've got a good glue up line on all of these. And sometimes I just like to use my bench top to glue these up. So um, one thing I got a little while ago are these micro jig dovetail clamps and these were going to work really awesome because I'm going to clamp it this way and then they've got this little set screw I can take out and feed this right through the bottom of the dog hole. Here, so these are going to allow me to put some staves here and put downward pressure this way as I'm putting clamping pressure this way. So let's put this together. The next step was to cut out a template to make sure that I was going to cut my wood to the right size. So I cut a few pieces out of cardboard just to see how it would fit. And the last attempt here, you can see I actually had to kind of push the tire in to make that diameter a little bit wider in the center and then drop it in. But after that, I had about an inch overlap around that inside diameter and it fit perfect. I really love using this synthetic bristle wire wheel on a project like this. If you have distressed wood or older wood, it still leaves the shape and kind of that rough texture, if you will, but it actually smooths it out a little bit and kind of just knocks over those hard edges. So the next step was to actually cut out the numbers for the clock and then cut out the clock itself. So I set up my CNC with the program and let it run. So the next step was to take care of the arms, and at my local hobby store, either the arms are too big or too small for the shape of the clock. So I decided to buy some larger arms and create a program in order to cut smaller arms from those larger arms uh, with some adhesive spray on the back of the arm as well as on the tape. But after making a second pass here, it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would.
made a second attempt and this time used the waste board and put a lot of glue on it and then also glued it out the back of the arm as well. I made a few passes and it still didn't quite stick but I stopped it, kind of tacked it down and then held it with my pencil eraser here just to make sure it wouldn't come up and it turned out really really nice. The next step was to drill the hole for the clock mechanism, get it all set up, and then get the clock body fit in the back, and then get the arms installed. So the last step was to cut some spacers to take up the amount of room between the inside of the diameter of the tire and the wood itself and that way it would be locked in place and centered within the tire. I just hit it one more time with that synthetic wheel just to take off of any little pieces that were left over from the CNC machine and it turned out really nice, left that kind of rustic look and grain popping but after that just hit it with some polyurethane and let it dry. So this project turned out really nice. I really like how it looks with the wood and the tire, just kind of putting two things together, uh, two of my favorite things. Um, I love it on my shop wall. It's just a nice addition to the shop. And uh, it was just a really fun project to kind of figure out using the CNC machine and building the program and just kind of the ups and downs with it. Um, it was a lot of fun and uh, I think it turned out really well. And if you have any questions about this project or any comments, uh, please feel free to leave those below. And this is Jacob All Trade saying we'll see you next time.